Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your January 2017 general tarot forecasts. Um, and I do apologize for the delay. Uh, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Thank you for joining me. Remember that these are general readings, so they're not going to apply to everybody watching or not in the same way. Make sure to watch your Moon and Rising sign readings. And if you are interested in a private reading or uh, you want to check out the specials that I'm running or anything like that, all the links you need are always in the description box below. And this month I'm using the After Tarot deck. And if you are interested in these cards, you want to look uh, closely at them, get a better idea of what they're about, I've also linked my review of the deck in the description box below. Aquarius, let's have a look. So at the bottom of the deck we have the Seven of Cups. So with the Seven of Cups, uh, this is, for some of you, I feel like you're going to be dealing with a lot of choices this month. You're going to have to be making decisions this month. And you may be struggling with decisions because it either is difficult for you to focus or all your options are going to be looking very, very similar. Um, and so it could be that you're overwhelmed and you're not sure which one to choose. Um, and with the Seven of Cups, it's also um, a little bit of a cautionary tale for you this month not to run away with yourself or to let your feelings overwhelm you um, and kind of create illusions, okay? Uh, do your research. Make sure that you double check things. Don't, don't really take things at face value this month um, because I feel like there may be a tendency for you to be a little bit naive for whatever reason. Um, so just, you know, put your feet on the ground. Try to be realistic. Try to see things for what they are and do a little bit of research. And if you're not sure which option to choose just give yourself a little bit more time to get more information um, and then make your decision okay in your current situation we have the eight of pentacles so with the eight of pentacles this is talking about being focused on something working hard on something it's the card of the apprentice so you're working on building something you're working on perfecting something um, this is something that you're dedicated to, that you're um, researching, learning more about, applying what you're learning, learning as you go, um, and really, really, you're really, really focused on something. Either if you know it's your money or your job or your school uh, situation or a relationship, even uh, or you're working on your health, working on your um, physique, that sort of thing, and you're really, really focused. Okay, with the Eight of Pentacles, it's crossed by the Judgment card. So the Judgment card is a major arcana card um, and its energy is going to um, either help you or hinder you. The Judgment card talks about uh, spiritual awakening, it talks about news that kind of uh, takes you out of slumber uh, that you have to act upon. It can also represent having a second look at things, giving something a second chance, uh, healing. Okay, So if you're working on your health, it could be that you're um, able to heal whatever's going on. Um, it's also um, revelation epiphany that, again, you have to act upon, okay? This understanding, this epiphany um, causes you to have to make change in your life, okay? Is pretty much what the judgment card is talking about. Or you could be working hard because there's some sort of an assessment coming up. Exam, test, assessment, review, anything like that, and that's your current situation. Um, the foundation for why things are the way they are, we have the moon card. And with the moon card, um, this can represent things that are hidden. It can represent things that we are not aware of right now. Uh, it can represent illusion uh, or someone kind of selling something to us that could not, you know, maybe it's not exactly the way they're describing it. Um, it could also be not having all the information and maybe that's what the Eight of Pentacles is. You're really working hard to get the information you need to do your research, to look at things for what they are, trying to be practical, trying to be realistic, uh, struggling to end confusion about something in your life. Uh, also struggling to end a search. So I feel like you've been searching, soul searching or searching for a job or searching for a person, for a relationship, for something, for meaning in your life and you've been given a chance, you've been do, given an opportunity to do that and you are uh, grabbing uh, grabbing it with both hands and really uh, trying to prove that you can do this or show 
uh, people what you're made of. Okay, it's very, very kind of dedicated energy that's coming across. In the recent past, we have the Hierophant. So this is a partnership. This is a union. Uh, it could be that you got accepted into some sort of big school. So now you're kind of proving that you deserve to be there. It could be that um, this is a new job that was offered to you. Uh, or, you know, this is kind of a temporary position or an apprenticeship. Or uh, you're um, doing some temporary work somewhere and you're trying to make a really good impression so that hopefully they make a permanent position. That sort of thing is coming across with the Hierophant. Or this is someone who you're trying to impress in terms of love life. Or a commitment that has happened and now you're working on solidifying that relationship and kind of um, proving to each other that you did the right thing. In your crowning thoughts, we have the Page of Cups. So with the Page of Cups, what you're thinking about is getting that offer. What you're thinking about is getting your wish. Uh, hearing what you want to hear, okay? Receiving the news that you want to receive. Um that's going to make you really really happy and i feel like you're so excited about this and you're getting your hopes really really high and so maybe that's why you have the moon and the seven of cups in here telling you to try to temper yourself it's not that you're not going to get this news but it's try to be realistic about what's going on and to yes have positive ex positive expectations absolutely but maybe not set your uh high, your sights so high if it's going to pressure you, if it's going to stress you out, if it's going to create worry and confusion and anxiety for you, okay? So that's why keep your feet on the ground, just so that you don't create pressure that doesn't need to be there, okay? Um, and so you're thinking about receiving that news, that offer, news about children, news about job, news about relationship, news about, you know, getting a yes answer is what is coming up with that. In your near future, we have the Page of Pentacles. So in your near future, you're going to get that news, okay? Um, the Page of Pentacles is uh, an offer. Again, it's something to do with education for some of you. For others of you, it's, if it's not, you know, it's education, development, training, that sort of thing. This is money or an opportunity to make more money or a job offer that is going to make you a long-term um it's going to bring you money in the long term and you're, it's going to bring you a stable financial situation in the long run um, or a love offer maybe from an earth sign a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or a water sign perhaps for some of you um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces it's also for some of you it's coming up as there's two different people that you're talking to one's a water sign one's an earth sign or one has a more of a dreamy energy, they say all the right things, but they don't really follow through yet, but the other is more down-to-earth, practical, and they mean what they say. Um, so for some of you, um, maybe you're focusing on the wrong person or you're choosing the wrong person, okay? So maybe for some of you, that's why you're confused and that's what's going on. And the cards are saying, again, if someone's saying all the right things, that's absolutely great. But make sure that they follow through. Make sure that they're just um, make sure that they're not just talking the talk but not walking the walk. Okay. And for those of you, it could be that um, this earth sign energy or this more down to earth practical uh, person uh, is more of a solid option. It's going to be different for different people, so you're going to see what applies to you. Um, but an offer is coming through for you, and the position uh, representing you, and this would be around the second to third week of the month. In the position representing you, we have the King of Cups. With the King of Cups, for some of you, this is um, maturity, maturing. So you're ready to graduate and stand on your own two feet. For others of you, this is em it's about emotional maturity. So it's about what do you really want? Do you want someone telling you all the nice things? Or do you want someone doing the ni nice things? And maybe you know they're not talking so much about it, but they're showing you how they feel. Uh, so someone who follows through, someone who is more substantial, not just about the surface things. For others of you, the King of Cups is maybe you're in communication with someone in recruitment, with HR, talking about your own development, uh, personal or professional development. It could be going on for some of you with this, uh, with this King of Cups person. Um, and it's also kind of mastering your own emotions. I feel like you're going to be struggling with keeping your emotions under control this month. 
uh, you it may be that you have a tendency to kind of romanticize things and then you're going to try and bring yourself down to earth a little bit um, and uh, so on and so forth kind of playing back and forth between those two energies and so with the king of cups you just want to calm things down and have a solid foundation and be more in control of your own emotions and um, kind of trust your instincts more be able to trust your instincts more okay in your environment we have the knight of pentacles so whatever offer comes your way with the page of pentacles is going to um, kind of quickly take root um, around the third week towards the fourth week the knight of pentacles talks about slow but steady progress things are moving forward slowly but surely uh, this is opportunities this is offers additional offers this is positive change this is progress of all kinds really um, that you can see that it's concrete you know you can trust it it's real and it's also a card that says you could be moving up you could be um, building your position there solidifying your position there you could be feeling more um, at peace at ease in control of what's going on with here because you're going from a page to a night so you're advancing and it's going from something that is you're talking about it to you're seeing it happen it's happening you're working on it you're seeing the results and so on and so forth so it's progress it's moving forward it could also represent um, actual travel maybe you're moving uh, or it's just progress in the sense of again things advancing in your hopes and fears we have the six of wands so with the six of wands you hope to be able to get your way you hope to be able to be victorious you hope to be able to be successful um, and manifest your vision this is triumph success victory all those um uh, all that kind of energy okay success um moving on moving forward a new job job um advancements so or promotion maybe being transferred to a better position taking on extra responsibility um being successful after a time of assessment or review could also be coming up um with the six of wands and as you end the month we have the devil so the devil is uh showing up for you as a cautionary energy for some of you it's saying that you know you're going to be picking this earth sign energy who is perhaps a capricorn um and so that's how you come out of the month with this earth energy with this earth sign energy for others of you the devil talks about um you know things are starting to move forward for you and things are picking up uh speed and before you know it you have responsibility you have um different expectations that you're expected to fill that you're expected to meet and so with the devil by the end of the month you may find that you're going overboard or things are a bit off balance in terms of maybe you're overworking uh, yourself and not uh, making enough time to, for rest for recuperation the devil can represent overindulgence as well so it's just a cautionary tale okay just as the seven of cups is things may go overboard really, really easily or they could go overboard really easily uh, you could get lost along the way you could uh, kind of fall into vicious cycles or go around in circles with situations or I uh, trust the wrong people and the devil could represent manipulation I feel like it's not saying it's gonna happen I feel like it's just saying just be mindful of where you're stepping and who you're trusting um, and the devil can also represent you know changing some bad habits or changing some old patterns uh, or really working hard to do this because I feel like they've been around forever and that's why the judgment card shows up as well because you're asked to kind of ascend you're asked to move on to move up a level um, and with the devil card it could be that you don't know how to do that or you're struggling with self-confidence um, but you know talk to people reach out you have support there um, and I feel like you will be um, working through these issues and breaking free and taking your power back okay and just make sure you don't go overboard whatever you do this month with eating drinking partying even working okay just make sure you don't go overboard keep things in balance you'll be absolutely fine it could just talk about that earth sign energy for you okay for career oh here we go for career finances education you have Teresa time out you've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself so that's what the devil represents for some of you 
you're going to be really busy, very successful time for you, getting a lot of stuff accomplished and a lot of responsibility being handed to you because you can take it. But this card is telling you, okay, that's really nice, enjoy it, but don't go overboard with it. Remember that your health is important. Remember that if you want to be doing this for a long time to come, you need to keep your health up. You need to pay attention and to make sure to rest, to make sure to eat properly, to make sure to be healthy. Okay, so for some of you, that's what this is. It's again a reminder. It's a reminder and it's asking you to set the tone for how things are going to go on from now. Um, and as long as you make time to rest, to recuperate, uh, or you don't take on too much responsibility or extra added responsibility because you want to make such a good impression and prove people that you deserve to be there, um, as long as you keep things balanced, you're going to be fine. There's nothing wrong with moving up. There's nothing wrong with advancement and taking on additional responsibilities as you go. But there's a time for everything. So move at a pace that you're comfortable with. Make sure you're not skipping any steps. Make sure that you're not going from zero to 60 in two seconds, okay? That's just what that is. Um, love life, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So with the devil here, it could also talk about just passion. You know, the uh, pleasure of the flesh type of thing. So for some of you, that's how you end the month. Very passionate, fiery energy. Lots of chemistry there. Very strong attraction between the two of you. Uh, and just enjoying it, okay? Just focusing on that. For others of you, it's again talking about, I feel like there's going to be temptation for you this month and choosing between one, and the, uh, one person or another. And again, there's going to be someone there who looks the part, but they're not ready to follow through. And on the other hand, there's going to be another person um, who's more down to earth. Maybe not such an outspoken person. Maybe not saying all the right things. But they're showing you how they feel in ways that you can see, okay? There's, it's concrete. They're showing you that. They're making efforts, okay? And so that's what that talks about. Be careful what you're choosing. If you just go for the uh, superficial, shallow things, yes, there's going to be a very strong pull there and attraction. But you may end up, you know, having to start over and looking for a partner and actually losing a good option in the process or something like that, okay? So just be mindful of that. Uh, for health and well-being, we have inner authority. The Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting me as I take back my power and listen to my intuition, desires, and feelings. So again, it's taking your power back, okay? Uh, ruling things, not really letting things rule you. Um, choosing what responsibilities you take on and uh, not just dealing with the consequences of the responsibilities that are given to you. Uh, setting boundaries for yourself when it comes to health. And not being afraid to just take control of the situation. Put your health first. Decide things for yourself and say, uh, I'm working until this time. No further. No more today. I'm going to go home and rest. Okay? So don't be afraid to be authoritative when it comes to protecting your health this month and putting your health, your health first. And your overall guidance is alchemy. You have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold. So use that to your advantage and make sure you don't get lost along the way. You're starting something beautiful and if you take it step by step, you can make it increasingly beautiful. But if you try to do it all at the same time, you're just going to burn yourself out or get lost along the way. Okay? So this is telling you, you have the Midas touch right now. Everything you touch turns to gold. So use this wisely and use it to your advantage. Okay? To make sure that you create long-term stability, not something that is quick, and it's just as quick to go away because you've burned yourself out, okay? So that's the reading that I have for you. I hope that it makes sense and I hope that it helps you. I'm looking forward to your feedback. Uh, thank you again for joining me. I hope that you have a beautiful month ahead and I will talk to you again soon. Take care.